Hello everyone, I am super excited because I have a great project for you guys today. Welcome to Gazelle Creative Studio, my name is Uriel. Before we start this tutorial, I would like to give a shout out to all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day, enjoy your day. Please subscribe to this channel because I will be bringing great projects, creativity and inspiration. For this project, we're going to be using a large uh, wooden slice from the Dollar Tree Plus section and then two medium size uh, also from the Dollar Tree. Uh, they come with a core, but I have removed that and then a, a packet of uh, smaller slices with a hole in it and then a few cubes and then some uh, dowels, uh, three quarters of an inch that I got from Walmart and uh, half an inch uh, dowels as well. Okay, well, let's get started with this awesome project. So I have uh, pre-hole uh, my slices. Uh, this one doesn't go all the way through because this one is uh, pretty thick, but the other ones uh, I made some holes and the little ones uh, came with a hole, but I made them a little bigger. For the dowels, I cut them at different heights because I wanted to place uh, small planters underneath, but you can make them bigger if you would like to. For the mini planters that we're gonna be creating, I created a uh, one inch wide hole, and this is gonna be for the succulents, uh, but you don't need to make a large hole like I did. You can make a regular hole with your drill. And I am going to elaborate a little more later on. First, what we want to do is uh, create some supports for this stand, and this is going to make the stand strong. Um, for this, uh, I'm going to be uh, cutting those uh, baby dowels from the Dollar Tree and they're going to go inside and I'm going to be gluing everything together as you can see. I have attached the first pole to the wooden slice and now it is nice and dry. Next, I'm going to be uh, placing the second tier tray. My recommendation is that once you glue each tier tray that you let it dry before you move to the next one. This a strategy, it will help you to keep your tier tray straight and aligned with all the pieces. Something I wanted to do with this uh, tier tray um, is that I wanted certain pieces to move around uh, for the look, but also to store the tier tray but I wasn't able to do so because uh, when I was cutting those dowels, I didn't cut them straight. So my advice to you is that the, the more straight that you cut those pieces, the more straight and aligned uh, everything is going to, uh, to be. I ended up uh, gluing everything together just to have a solid piece. Now that the first two tier trays are nice and dried, I am going to uh, glue the second pole. As you can see, uh, this is going to be a little bit repetitive and this is going to be for the rest of the pieces of the tear tray. And this is what we have so far. Four pieces all nice and dried and I'm ready to install the third tray. Friends, um, for Mother's Day I want to encourage everybody to create something with your hands. Instead of buying something from the store, um, yeah, I, I would like to uh, to suggest that, that you create something for, for your mom. I think it will be more special. I think this uh, cascading tier tray can be uh, for small business owners. I don't know, maybe like a jewelry shop where they can display uh, jewels on top of each uh, tier tray or even like, you know, like a cake shop where they can place uh, maybe like cupcakes or something like that. I don't know, this piece is very versatile and I think it's uh, very, very cool. So anyway, um, 
I, I want to encourage uh, everybody to create something for their moms instead of uh, buying something already made. I think uh, she will appreciate it even more. For one of my small slices, uh, the foliage uh, was coming off. So as you can see here, I put uh, some glue and rubber bands just to hold the foliage that was coming off. In the comments below, please tell me how will you use this uh, cascading tear tray? What will you put on each uh, little tray? What will you do with it? Please let me know. All right, we're almost done with this uh, cascading tear tray. It is looking really good. Next, I'm gonna be uh, working on those uh, mini planters. So for this, I'm gonna be using those uh, wooden cubes from the Dollar Tree. And I am doing some uh, one inch markings all around just to get them ready for painting. Friends, I would like to connect with you, so please follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I want to continue bringing you more creativity. Also, I would like to thank all my subscribers for all their support and kind words. For those mini planters, uh, there is no need to um, create a big hole as I did. Uh, the original thought that I had was that I wanted to put a little bit of moss around and then put a succulent in the middle. But the succulent covers almost the entire mini planter that it was not uh, useful. So I recommend that 
you just make a regular hole with a drill and just uh, put the stem of the succulent in there. As you can see, I used a masking tape to get some clean lines uh, when I was painting. Um, uh, also for the paint, I used the Bare Brand to do the bottom. And after that, I did some Mod Podge uh, and the matte version. I really like the feel of uh, the matte finish and also it adds a, uh, a layer of protection. Now that all the mini planters are nice and dried, it is time to apply the foil tape all around. So I'm gonna measure how much I need to apply and then cut it off and I'm gonna do that for every little planter. Additionally, I created a, a, a little bigger mini planter because I just wanted to put something on the base of the cascading tear tray and you're gonna see that uh, towards the end of the video so I repeated the same uh, the same concept with a white pen, mud podge and foil tape Are you guys ready for the grand reveal? I know I am. So what do you guys think about this uh, cascading tear tray? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and before we go please do those three things like this video subscribe to this channel and follow me on facebook and instagram thank you